This is just a short little video to get up close and personal with a NeoPixel or a WS2812 or WS2812B, whatever it is. Uh, you see these in a lot of projects. I'm using them in my project. And, you know, they're not an LED. They're not even a tri-colored LED. They're actually a specialized microcontroller with three LEDs. So if we look here, we see there's the little microcontroller right there. And then here's your red, your green, and your blue. And then they use, um, you know, pulse width modulation on the red and the green and the blue to mix the colors together to get you that infinite, well, it's not infinite, it's 256 uh, to the third power, whatever that is, uh, different colors that you can have, you know, so you can go from uh, 0 to 255 on each of these three, you know. Uh, but this is, I think it's really cool because it's, I've been wanting something like this for a long time and all of a sudden I found these things and it's like, wow, all the little cool little things that you can do with them. So this is uh, running with a little bit of Python code, uh, micro Python code uh, that I just loaded up as main.py and basically it's just turning these things on in sequence. And it's at one out of 255 it's at the lowest brightness that there is uh, just so you can uh, see it up close with this cheap microscope USB camera thing I've got here anyway it's a pretty cool little thing so the signals just coming in you know there's a middle um, there's a, a middle tab where your your signals your comm signal goes down the middle wire on the strip and it comes in, comes up to here. Uh, the microcontroller reads the first three bytes that it gets from the uh, from the signal. It reads the first three bytes, and those are your, you, well, they're not your RGB values. They're actually your GRB values, so green, red, and blue values. But your software handles that for you, right? So it just picks the first three bytes. It sets them and starts uh, doing the pulse width modulation on this particular uh, unit and then it sends all the rest of the bytes on up the strip to be picked up by the by the other NeoPixels. It's a pretty cool design and uh, I just like looking at it because it's cool but anyway there you go that is a NeoPixel up close and personal.